Following on, I'm now going to transform this papier-mâché and white paint plate dish into a metal plate. Here we go. So on the previous videos, I made a mould of an old oyster shell with barnacles on because the texture of the barnacles is what I wanted to create here. And it worked perfectly. I made the mould, I pressed my papier-mâché clay, which I make myself, I'll show that in another recipe, and then I painted the surface with a mixture of PVA glue and water, so it was kind of smooth and runny but tacky, and then I took little pieces of paper clay and just smeared them in and then peeled them back and placed them here and there to create a, a random effect and a little bit of lift that little bit of lift comes from that little bit of lift on the oyster shell. You can play around them in such beautiful ways. And now I'm going to put some um, silver leaf. This is the one I'm using. It's Cornelison um, loose silver leaf thick. It's the real deal. And um, sometimes I will use aluminium, you know, the one they call Dutch metal leaf or schlag, if I'm going to do lots of big pieces. But this one really has to get a patina and the only way to do that is with silver because then I can put it in a box with hard-boiled eggs and they'll turn into a magic colouring. So I usually use Robeson um, acrylic gold size but I've run out because I get through it. So this is one I bought off the internet a few weeks ago which is is it Pebio? Pebio. And um, it's, it's water soluble. So my apron comes in for everything. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do the back first, like this. Very often you have to put two coats on. It's better to put two coats of size on rather than two coats of silver, because it's less wasteful of silver. Precious metal silver. So I'm going to take it all the way. See, I can, I'm quite lavish with it, actually. You can always spread it out later. The effect will be really Lovely, actually. I've, I've done this technique so many times, so I know where I'm going with this one. Well, I know where I'm going with all of them, but sometimes I like to experiment, but I'm not going to experiment on YouTube and waste anyone's time. I'm going to actually do all the work behind the scenes. Well, I've got years and years of experience at this. So that's, then I'll put that back into there and into there. Then I'm going to leave this for a few moments and um, say what, normally it takes about five minutes. Because I put it on quite thickly, I'm probably going to leave it for longer than that. So I shall just place it on top of there and I'll come back to you in a minute. 